We have a beautifully rainy day today. So what better day than to clean the inside of the greenhouse? But weeks and weeks ago, I had a rainy clip in a, a Sunday garden video and a couple of people commented saying, oh my God, why did you stop with the rain clips? <laughs> so I think we have a market with some people on the in the community for the channel who like rainy garden clips. So I thought I would do like a slower paced rain sound afternoon in the greenhouse. Um, my greenhouse is full of cobwebs, that's fine. And I have pots and stuff everywhere. So I'm just gonna do a slower paced. Uh, I need to clean the glass on the inside. I did clean the outside <laughs> like a couple of days ago, which you saw in last week's video. Um, but now it's raining again. <laughs> So yeah, let's tackle the inside. A couple of pelagonians need a bit of a bit of dead heading. Yeah, and lots of cobwebs to to sort it. But yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there.
feel like I have loads of bugs on me. <laughs> you know what? That only took me three hours. I wish I had done it sooner, but you know what? I think I've made the most of a rainy day. And I hope you have enjoyed the little potter in the greenhouse. I'll give you a little look around. Um, I just tidied up. At this time of year, there's not much in the greenhouse. Just a couple of pelagoniums. And yeah, there, there's no seedlings or anything. It's mid-July now. Well, is it end July? The month of July just goes like that, doesn't it? So yeah, I'll give you a little look around. Okay, it's still raining, so I have to be careful with my camera. You can probably hear the raindrops, but nice rainy day. <laughs> um, if you saw last Sunday's video, you'll know that I cleaned the outside with bucket and good old soapy water. I think this is a chrysanthemum that came back from last year. I thought I had killed it. But yeah, a lot of the plants getting possibly too much rain at this stage, but once we get a sunny day, they will be happy. So the inside is, I didn't clean the floor because I need a nice dry day for it to dry uh, when I clean it. So once I have a nice warm day, I normally just get a sweeping brush and a bucket of water and scrub the floor. Um, you can see it's mostly just dirt around here. So this scrubs up a treat and for anyone who's new, this is a painted floor, not real bricks. And I brick them on. Um, I'll see if I can find a link to that old video. It's from like three, two, three years ago. So I like to keep this stand practical, but pretty. So we just have a couple of pelagoniums and a few of my knickknacks and stuff. Loads of storage and stuff in here, pots. I actually have some clear containers with craft supplies as well. And up here behind this, I have loads of plastic pots. You know, the ones that you keep from when you go to the garden center. We all know it too well. Um, so I hoovered away as much as I could of the cobwebs. No shade to the spiders, but I like to just do some crowd control. <laughs> but there's still a couple in here, so I didn't totally eradicate them um, because they are good at eating the other bugs. So I just moved my little chair over here and I have my little fire, that's just a plug-in. And then I have a power supply outlet here. Actually, let's stick on the lights because it is dull. So you might be able to see the twinkly light. Let me stand back. This looks really nice at night time. Yeah, and it just, it just adds like a touch of magic. You can get battery packed ones, but these actually are super, super bright but these are the ones that are electric so they're mains powered so i can just flick them off it is handy having electricity in here as well especially if you want to do a bit of work on the laptop you want to have an escape so it was mostly just loads of cobwebs in the corners of places which are all clean over here all of the windows on the inside are nice and clear and the spiders tend to hide in the cobwebs or in the corners. So the these are damp because I was scrubbing them. So yeah, this is tidy once again. I need to get a home for my hoover. Um, I don't have room in the shed because I have like a normal hoover in the house. But this hoover is amazing for outdoor stuff and it's a godsend for my greenhouse because that Dyson would be crap oh and the two pigeons on the wall again i don't know if my <laughs> there's the two pigeons we all know what them two pigeons to be doing on the wall and a rainy day is not going to stop them so you would have seen i just deadheaded a load of pelagoniums i am a bit of a pelagonium abuser and i don't give them a great life and i think they suffered a little bit because my neighbor uh, water them for me but he gave them a good water and they're not used to such good treatment <laughs> so I gave them a dead head but the ones over here um, the bigger ones they were a couple of years old and sometimes they go a bit leggy and I heard that if they go leggy it's because they're trying to get the sun but I kind of like that so I like when they leg out leg out <laughs> not even a phrase because they kind of they're more full or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, if they're going leggy, it's because they're trying to find the sunlight. But you get lots of sunlight in here, just not today.
I hope you enjoyed this slightly wetter, damper than usual video. Cheeky thumbs up. I'll pop a link to the cottage garden playlist if you want to check out the Sunday garden videos. I'm off to make myself a huge cup of tea. <laughs> Maybe have some dinner and get some warmth back into my bones. This is, I know, Southern Europe has been having heat waves, but this is good all Irish summer. So it's grand, it means less watering with the plants. <laughs> this is why you need a raincoat as a garden essential in Ireland. Anyway, I better go before my camera gets absolutely soaked and I have no camera. I'll see you in the next one. Cheeky thumbs up, hope you enjoyed it.